We've all heard of that song, making love out of nothing at all, right? But have you ever heard of making furniture out of nothing at all? And this sounds weird as well, but there's a man in Dubai who can really do this. The man is called Bear Garcia and he can make furniture out of nothing at all, total scrap. So we gave him a challenge. We said, okay, take a drum, take a jean, make something out of it. And he actually did that. He did a great job. Take a look. Today we're going to work on our metal drum chair. I picked up a 55 gallon drum, some scrap wood, some materials, some screws, some paint. Uh, we're going to cut it, shape it, paint it, sand it, put it all together into a finished product. Very important step in, the, in making the drum chair is we need to get dead center. So we'll measure the drum, chalk it out in half from top to bottom, from center to center. Once we cut out the pattern for the backrest, uh, that depends on the shape and style that you would like. We'll lay that pattern against the drum, mark it off for our cuts. Now that we have all our chalk lines in place and all our safety gear on, we'll go ahead and start cutting the drum. To cut our metal drums, I use a, a regular metal grinder. It's a very dangerous tool. You need safety glasses, gloves, and safety shield in place. Now that our drum is cut, we're gonna sand the edges, that way it's not so sharp. Once the drum is sanded and all the edges are cleaned up, we're gonna use the drum as, to make a circle pattern for the seat on our wood. Now that our wooden disc is cut, this is gonna be the seating for the chair. We're gonna set it in place to, set, to check the height. We'll put some set screws in it to hold it steady and it won't fall through. Now that all the cutting and the fabrication is done, next step we'll sand our metal drum. We'll prepare it for painting. You can roll on the paint, spray can, depending on whatever you like. And we also have a rubber beading that'll cover all the sharp edges that we made. You're gonna need at least two, three mm uh, thickness of foam to give it a little bit of padding. So we'll, we'll lay down some glue, lay down our layer of padding. You can use any type of scrap cloth, any t-shirt, jeans, anything that you would like that you, that you want to cover your chair with. You can be creative, whatever you like to put on there. 